let's get cooking. Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. I've never sat here and vlog, mostly because you're sitting on a bar cart that's not normally sitting here, but what a nice, man, I'm vlogging. <laughs> hey guys, you wanna come here? Um, yes. We call her Schmush, we call her Scruff. So hello, it is currently Friday, and I'm having a wonderful day thus far. I slept in because honestly, I've just been really tired lately. Yesterday was a little bit of an emotional day, so I feel like I was just like really exhausted. And I stayed up really late editing, so I am very energetic now. I'm here, I am ready to start my day. On the agenda today, Wit and Sarah are actually out to doing some prop shopping for Cooking with Remy stuff. So they're out and about doing that, which I am so grateful and I love them so much. And I'm just home today. Honestly, I have a lot, a lot, a lot of cleaning to do. I have yet to unpack from my San Francisco trip, which was a while ago, like a week and a half ago. I used to be that person that would get home, please ignore the dogs, they're just playing, I promise. I used to be that person that would get back from a trip and would unpack the minutes that I got home. I remember seeing a meme that someone said that if you do that, you are probably a serial killer. I am not, and I no longer do that because I have become a lazy, lazy, lazy person. That's okay, we're gonna unpack today. Today's just gonna be a cleaning day, something that I've been having on my to-do list that I have yet to get to, and I need to do it because, ma'am, Ladies, honestly, getting Momo was the best thing to ever happen to us because Daisy has someone to play with all the time now. She used to just like chill, which was really cute, but now I feel like she's so happy having a play buddy. It's so cute. As I was saying, I wanna get to organizing the bar behind me today. You guys know I went to BevMo a couple vlogs back and I got a bunch of stuff and it's just been sitting there and I wanna organize it all. I have like 50 packages sitting by the door that I need to open and I really need to clean the house today because we were having a small little get together tomorrow. Mia and Lauren's birthday is already passed, but because of like crazy schedules, people traveling, things like that, we haven't been able to get together to have like a whole party situation or like a little get together. So tomorrow, officially, Tiff and I planned a little day for them. It's gonna be really fun. We're gonna do some painting pottery in the morning. Then we're gonna do like a little pregame here at my house and then we're just going to dinner together with us and all the boyfriends. It's gonna be so fun. But obviously we're having guests over. We need the house to be clean and I've been putting this off for a long time and I'm very much looking forward to it. Yesterday we filmed some cooking with Remy stuff in the kitchen. Usually with the cleaning, I start in the kitchen, but I did a pretty good job of cleaning this up yesterday. It looks pretty good. So I think we're just gonna start with the bar cart, or rather not bar cart, bar situation. In case you guys missed the vlog, my wonderful friends, Jocelyn and Brian from the Larios Project built me this custom piece, which was like the nicest thing that anyone has ever done for me, seriously, in my entire life. It's so beautiful. It's got this gorgeous black wood and these deep, deep, deep drawers, which I can't wait to like, throw things in there, keep it nice and organized. And they have these soft closing doors, which is so nice. They've got these shelves. They are getting glass made to cover these so that it lasts longer. So I'll just put stuff on it right now and then we can take it off later when they come. Brian just quickly like decorated this to show me earlier. So I'm gonna actually like, put it all together. This used to be in our bedroom. This also used to be in our bedroom. This little mini fridge thing on the left side, it's like a normal fridge and I just have cans and LaCroix in there. And then on the right side, it's like a wine fridge, which is really nice. So I just have some wine in there. <gasps> Lauren asked for Prosecco tomorrow, and I think she might like that. I will ask her if she wants that. <laughs> and then we've got all the stuff that I got from BevMo, so I'm just gonna decorate. I'm not really sure what I'm feeling with decorations. I have a bunch of these little trays, though, that are nice and keep things organized. So I'm thinking maybe I'll spread the trays out and then add some like black trays also just to add a nice pop of black. They are still play fighting. Crazy. All right, let's get started. All right, gonna watch He's All That. It's officially out today while we decorate. Still closed? Yes, it's still closed. Oh my oh, god. Oh, sorry. Okay, open. Woo! Okay. Looks really good. Looks really good. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. <laughs> here is the reveal. We've got glasses down here. I got new glasses from CBTU, guys. If you're ever looking for nice glasses or nice glassware, they're really great quality and on the less expensive side, which is great. I believe this was like under $7 or so. And it's really, really nice. Like, feel how heavy this is. That's a nice glass. Hello. No, this is like it's nice. Fancy. Their stuff is really good. All right, we got the Bartesian down there. These are just little like canisters. I put a candle there. Momo. We got the Tito swivel, which actually is 
empty, but just for decoration. This is all of the like rums. What else do we have? Vodka, gin, pretty much everything. And over there is just tequila because that's what everyone pretty much drinks in our lives. Lots of tequila. I'm really, I'm becoming a fan of Kettle One too, so love that. We have things to make an Aperol spritz down here. I put the Bartesian pods, extra little like bins, extra trays. Over there are all of the mixers, extra sodas, all this kind of stuff. Hi guys, okay, it is much later. I actually ended up going to dinner. I met Hill at the mall, we got some dinner. I just got home, it is late, and I am going to tackle my glam room, which I have been putting off for a very long time. I'm gonna show you, please don't judge me. This is the current state of my vanity. I don't think it's ever been this bad in my entire life. We've got my suitcases, just like random PR stuff that's come in. So much going on. So uh, here is the before. All right guys, and we're back. Hello, look how much cleaner this is. I ended up switching out the rug. The rug that I had been using in here before had gotten stained, it was really old. So I switched out for a new rug that I got. It's from rugs.com, it looks so good. I also switched out my vanity mirror. This one is from Ricky Ricky. The one that I had before was from Impressions Vanity and I loved it so much, but it didn't come with a stand. It's actually made to like mount on a wall, so I was propping it up with a trash can behind. This one from Ricky Ricky is really pretty and it has a remote so you can turn it on, which is really nice. There's also like a Bluetooth setting to take pictures and best of all, it comes with the stand and it's really thin it's nice we've got my makeup out my lights and stuff cleaned everything up it looks so good everything is clean all right it's past midnight now I'm very sweaty we finished cleaning up the rest of the house too so it looks really good for tomorrow Cal's already sleeping so I'm gonna go shower go to bed and I have to wake up early so see you guys in the morning hi guys okay it is the next morning I am up Cal and I just had breakfast I took a shower I'm wearing this little fit today just my parallel what is this one called the square neck top Tank top, something like that. A line leggings and then some Jordans. Super comfortable, super casual. Today, it is officially party day. So I'm about to head out the door right now and go to a party supply store, get some decorations. We're gonna stop at the grocery store, grab some things to make appetizers. I made a little menu today for what we're making. I'm making Mia and Lauren's favorite snacks that I usually make or some of their favorites. One of which includes this like fried pita bread. I did that on episode two of Cooking with Remy. And then I'm also making a couple dips. I wanted to make the caramelized onion dip, but honestly it takes a really long time. So instead, I'm making a couple of their other favorite dips, which is hot spinach and artichoke dip, which is amazing and super easy. And then this like bacon and cheese dip that's really good. I'm making chocolate covered strawberries because those are Lauren's favorite. Crispy chocolate chip cookies because those are Mia's favorite. And I think we might go pick up some like chicken wings or something to make it a little easier. So that is what's on the agenda. I have a couple hours before we have to go paint pottery and then we have a little break before tonight. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm very excited. As you guys saw, I cleaned up the whole house yesterday. That included opening up a bunch of PR packages. So I pulled out some of my favorites just to show you guys really quickly so I don't, you know, spend too much time opening packages on here for you. Love a package opening moment sometimes, but yesterday we were in a rush. So here we go. Okay, not me starting and then realizing I never hit record. First up, Liquid IV sent me a few bags of their immune support Liquid IV. I actually asked them to send me these because of course, always, but especially right now, it's so important to take care of your immune system. So these are just great to help boost that. So I'm gonna start drinking those regularly. And then I believe this is their new packaging, which this is so pretty. I like this a lot more than this one. This is their new flavor in yellow cherry, which yellow cherries are my favorite kind of cherries. I think they're called Rainier cherries, but I cannot wait to try those. Next, we got my bitch shirt from Alicia Marie. She said that the shirt actually sold out. So I don't think it's available right now, but if it is, go check out Alicia Marie. I think it's shopalishamarie.com. I love this shirt. It's so cute. I love the design. I love the shirt that she chose. Really nice quality. Can't wait to wear that. Put the moss pack. Alani New dropped a new flavor of their protein snack bars. This is peanut butter cup. So I'm excited to try that. Always love a peanut butter chocolate combination. Next up, Summer Friday sent over their new lip balms, which they actually already had this bomb, but they put it in a new packaging, which I much prefer this packaging. I did put one in my purse already because I love it so much. No joke guys, this is truly the best lip balm to ever exist. This one is in the shade Vanilla Beige and then there's a clear one. I am so obsessed with this lip balm, no joke. If you're gonna buy one lip balm, get this one. I promise you it is worth every penny. It feels like actual like butter on your lips and I really, really, really like it. Next up, Rare Beauty. I am somehow on their PR list, which is so crazy. I was just listening to Selena's new song. I think it's called 999. It is so good. I think it's one of my favorite songs she's ever released. It's all in Spanish too. It's beautiful. Really cool packaging. I actually saw people using this mascara online and it looks really good. So I'm excited to try. It's the Perfect Strokes Universal Volumizing Mascara. Then we have here Forever Mood, which is from my queen, 
Jackie Ina. This is the Lavishly Jackie collection. I actually saw that they're selling Forever Mood at Sephora now, which is so cool, and it came with the most beautiful matchbox set I've ever seen in my entire life. I believe, ooh, oh my God, gorgeous. It's called Old Money and New Money. That's so funny. I love her packaging. Her candles are amazing, and I cannot wait to light these. You guys know I'm a candle queen. Also, somehow I finessed myself onto Charlotte Tilbury's PR list. I don't know how this happened, but they sent me Oh my god, there's a face palette, mascara, lip products. I just ordered a bunch of stuff from her website, so I'm so excited and thank you so much. Oh my god, these smell really good. So thank you so much to Charlotte Tilbury. Like, this is a dream come true. And lastly, I wanted to show you guys what I got from Omsum. They sent over, first of all, a rice paddle, which I can never say thank you enough for a rice paddle. I love my rice paddles. These are so cute. This is the East Asian Omsum sampler. So it's Japanese, Korean, Chinese my favorite cuisine in the world. And these are really cool. I actually received a pack of these in a PR once, but it wasn't these exact flavors. So basically, they are these little sauce packets or like seasoning packets. Thank you for all this amazing PR and let's go hit the party store. We've arrived. Oh wow, they're clearing out. I'm being drawn to this Tiffany blue color. Okay, we've got napkins. I just need napkins in general, so good to have those. Silverware. We have arrived at number one activity. Oh shoot, this one's huge. Fun fact, I used to go to Color Me Mine like pretty much monthly when I was a kid because my aunt would take me. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow, are you excited? She's living. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, I'm gonna make this for Kel. Rad dad. Number one, dad, the beer mug. That's funny. I'm gonna be fully honest, you guys. I'm really bad at painting, so whatever I make is not gonna turn out very good. Hey, bitch. Hey. Oh, maybe something Halloween. I need something that I can just like fill in the blanks. Oh my god, wait, a little ramen bowl? Okay, I potentially might do that. That's really cute. Also guys, I forgot to update you, but in Party City, one of the nice workers came up to me and asked me to not film, so that's why I didn't film in there. But I got a bunch of stuff. It's gonna be so cute when we decorate later. They've got really cute water bowls. I'm kind of feeling that. Or a dog treat container could be cute too. I decided on this very large bowl. I think I'm gonna draw little fruits on it and I can use it for cooking with Remy. So pretty, Oh, look at that, ASMR. All right, we are here. We've got the bowl, and then you come over here and you look at the colors, and you decide what colors that you want. I'm thinking, I think I'm gonna do strawberries and then make the bowl maybe like a minty green. Like 24 is really cute. Maybe I'll paint the whole thing mint green and then do strawberries in like 92. That'd be cute. I love it. Update, I changed my color to this one. A little bit more muted, 85. All right, it begins. I'm the worst vlogger ever. I uh, finished the bowl. <laughs> I made it that cute like minty color and then I put these little strawberries in it. I thought it'd be a cute fruit bowl. I freehanded the red and then the green and then I used a little daughter to do all the seeds. Toph's doing an olive oil. Lauren's doing a beautiful bowl. And Mia's doing a bloody cup. A bl bloody mug. <laughs> Hi guys, okay. We finished, well actually I finished first. So I'm leaving a little bit early because I have to go home and get a lot of stuff done. But that was so much fun. I can't wait to use that bowl for cooking with Remy stuff. We're gonna drive home. I'm thinking I probably should get ready first, get that out of the way, and then we can move on with decorating food and everything else. Yay, it's so fun. Hi guys, okay, we're back. I didn't do a haul for you earlier, but I just got lighting as awful. At Party City, I was checking out I got all the stuff that I showed you guys earlier and then on my way out, I saw a few things. I got one thing for me. I've always, always, always wanted to try a mini brand and I've never opened one before and I really want to try opening it. So, have you seen these before, Kel? No, I have no idea what that is. It's so cute. Oh my God. Okay, there's a lot of like packaging on these. Here we go. So you've got a little ball and then you take this top off and Whoa! Each little thingy has a mini brand in it. I don't even know what our options. Ugh, this is one that I didn't want though. It's like a little shopping cart, I think. I want the actual like brand stuff. Ah! Little mini TGI Fridays. Okay, now that I'm opening these up, these are really stupid. Little mini TGI Fridays jalapeno poppers. That's adorable. A <laughs> little apple pie spice from McCormick. Adorable. Had I gotten these when I was a kid, I would have gone buck wild. <gasps> a little Hershey's cookies and cream. Delish. <gasps> oh my God, a little mini Hershey's syrup. A little uh, strawberry syrup. How cute is that? And then, oh, that was it. 
adorable. That was exhilarating. I got myself a mini brand, and then also at checkout, they had two of these Squishmallows limited edition axolotl mystery squads. I got them for Lauren because you all know how much we love our Squishmallows. There are six to collect. Very exciting, and they're scented. So I got her these. Obviously, I can't get Lauren something and not get Mia something. So Mia's not a Squishmallow lover, so she's not getting that. So instead, she's really into fitness, and I walked over to GNC, which was next door, and instead, I picked her up this. They had a big advertisement for it in the front, and I know she loves protein powders. I actually share all my Alani new protein powders with her. So I got her this one from this brand called Ghost. It's a cookies and cream or an Oreo brand protein powder. I love Oreos, and so I got one for myself as well because I'm actually really excited to use this. To my knowledge, I don't think Alani new has ever come out with like a cookies and cream one. There's no candy in that, I promise. But like it would be so much cooler if there was candy if inside. Mini, I thought he was gonna open it. I was like, "This is don't open it." Real mini Hershey syrup. So I got one for Mia, and I got one for us to try, which I'm really excited about. So I also got a pre-workout. This is from the same brand, Ghost. Look at this, Cal. It's Warheads. I love Warheads. Sour watermelon pre-workout. As we all know, I'm an Alani New ho. I love Alani New, but I did want to try a different brand too, and this stuff looks cool. So I got these. I'm going to get cooking right now. I was going to get ready, but I figured I should get everything prepped and let it sit so the flavors kind of meld together more before I get ready. I told you guys what we were making earlier, so I'm going to get working on that. Cal's setting up some decorations, and we're going to get moving. Updates, guys. I'm pretty much on time. I baked these cookies for Mia. I think I told you earlier, but Mia always likes a thin, crispy, almost like burnt cookie. So I cooked these for her. I've never made these before, but they look really good. Gonna let these cool. The chocolate covered strawberries for Lauren are in the fridge. Cal did all the streamers. We got the balloons. And then I set up this area here. I feel like it's kind of barren, but this is just like a pre for dinner, so I don't wanna make too much food. I set up little gifts for Lauren, little gifts for Mia. Very cute. Got the pita chips for the dip. The two dips are in the fridge. I'm gonna throw them in the oven after I start my makeup, just so it can be fresh, but it looks good. I'm gonna put the strawberries, I think, on this plate here. And yeah, Cal's gonna fry up the pita bread right before they come, and that is what's going on. Okay, let's go put our makeup on. I am back. I had to taste test the cookie. This is truly one of the best cookies I've ever had in my life, and I'm not even a crispy cookie fan. Usually I'm a thick cookie fan, but oh my God, that's amazing. Chocolate covered strawberries. You gotta taste this cookie. Okay. I truly outdid myself. I quickly did my makeup. I feel like it looks a little janky. Good, right? Bomb. I know. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta quickly do my hair, change outfits, but this is looking good. Cal's gonna fry up the pita. I know it's really good. All right, see you soon. Yay! You guys, I speed got ready. I even straightened my hair to kill time, or to make it faster, rather. Everyone's here. Yay! We have many fun things to come. I got my Tito's Crystal Light. I got my dogs. So much fun. So much fun. You guys, the dips were a hit. We're playing Smoker Fire on the table that Kay made me. Having a great time. So much fun. Thanks, Toffee. The best host ever. So nice. We are in the bus, everyone. Cheers. Jerry is our driver. He's up there. He's very nice. You guys, we're at dinner. This is one of mine and Cal's favorite date night spots. It's called Petite Taqueria. It is so good. I got these sweet potato empanadas. We got so much food. I'm so excited. What did you order for food? Let me talk. I ordered Walk a shrimp quesadilla with black beans and Spanish rice. It's good. Yeah, your food here is so good. Pretty good. It's pretty, so good. It's pretty good. I already ate like half of this. It was bomb. Guys, I got a flan, which is in my top three Holy favorite desserts. Shit. Johnny's big. Oh, there's a citrusy flavor. Drink it off. Mm. I know, I saw that. Delicious. Muy delicioso. Happy birthday. Yay! Thank you, Bridget. Bitches. Yay. Make a wish. I'm here. Yay! <laughs> Guys, we are home. We got home, what, like 11? 30 or so. It is now 12.06 and the kitchen is fully clean. We did it the whole living room. Everything is so clean. We get to wake up to a clean kitchen chaparral, which is the best thing to wake up to. Yes. Success. Tonight was so much fun. We were going to do karaoke back at the house after dinner, but everyone was tired and we decided to just 
go back home. So yes, I will see you guys tomorrow. Kyle and I have no plans but to lay on the couch and do nothing. We have four hours of Bachelor in Paradise to catch up on and two more episodes of The White Lotus, so we are excited. A lot Yay. to do. A lot to do. Basically an entire work day of shows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, love you guys.